Polychart lets you explore and visualize data just by dragging and dropping. Let's explore a dataset from a recent AdWords campaign. I've already exported the dataset into a CSV format, then uploaded it into Polychart. The dataset is pre-aggregated by day and at text, and include columns such as clicks, impressions, click-through rates, and other information. Let's begin charting. The metrics shown on the left corresponds to the columns we saw in the dataset tab. To make our first chart, we drag day to the x-axis and clicks to the y-axis and choose a line chart. This shows the total clicks received aggregated by day. Let's add some labels. It's easy to change the chart type to say an area chart or a bar chart or change the aggregation level to weekly so we see total clicks received per week. We can also map metrics to chart features. For example, we can map add text to color and get one stack bar for each of the seven ads. To better illustrate this idea of mapping metrics to chart features, let's create a new chart. Here we'll place on the x-axis the average position, or how far down the page Google positioned each ad, and on the y-axis the average cost per click. As expected, the scatter plot shows a negative correlation, meaning ads further down the page cost less. We can map the size of each point to the number of clicks that each circle represents. And as before, map add text to color. We can see that the ad encoded by blue behaves differently than the rest. The split chart by functionality can be used to separate the circles into multiple charts, say by the day, and change the aggregation setting to have one chart per week. We see here that variation in both cost and position decrease as time progressed. Charts created using Polychart can be published on a web page or exported as a PNG, SVG, or PDF document. Find out more at polychart.com and happy charting!